As it happens, the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland Paris is one of my top two favourite rides. The other one being Pirates of the Caribbean. I actually went on that ride before I watched the Haunted Mansion film. And it really gave me very high expectations for the film itself. And I can now say with confidence that the film is amazing. Oddly, and this is odd, it's only got an average rating of 5 out of 10 on IMDb. And that's across 42,000 reviews. And I'm quite shocked at how low that is. Now, I'm not saying I would give it a 10 out of 10. But I really thoroughly enjoyed this. So it was released in 2003. It's insane to believe that it's 17 years old. Directed by Rob Minkoff and written by David Ber Berenbaum. And stars, of course, the fantastic Eddie Murphy. And the description from IMDb reads as follows. A realtor and his wife and children are summoned to a mansion, which they soon discover is haunted. And while they attempt to escape, he learns an important lesson about the family he has neglected. So obviously it centres largely around Eddie Murphy, who plays Jim, the father character. But to be honest, the family themselves, I wasn't that bothered about. I think the characters are very well acted, they're very well developed, the performances are brilliant. Um, I don't have any issues with anybody. I think Marsha Thomason was great, and Nathaniel Parker, and of course Jennifer Tilly all gave really great performances. And as a family unit, they really worked. Or when they had problems, it felt realistic. So the family and the characters, I loved. But for me, what made this amazing was the haunted mansion. And we kind of get introduced to that through Ramsley, played by Ter Terence Stamp, who, needless to say, is fantastic. And I also didn't realise this until, until just now, but Deep Roy plays one of the hitchhiking ghosts. What makes this great for me are the special effects, the CGI, the scenery, the house itself looks impeccable. The ghosts, the ghouls, the scary elements are magnificent. Now that's not to say it's a scary film, but it's a very funny, creepy film. And there's not a moment where I didn't adore it, which is why I'm kind of confused about that really low, low rating. I think... I don't know. I mean, it had a budget of $90 million and has a cumulative worldwide gross of $182 million. Maybe people just were expecting something different from Disney. I'm not sure, but personally, I think it's phenomenal. The narrative develops at a great rate. Okay, so the beginning before we get to the mansion and before we, things get going is not as entertaining as the rest of it. But it's not slow. I never thought it felt too slow or like anything was too forced. I think the character development is good. The way the family work together and oppose one another sometimes, I think, works really well. They each have kind of independent approaches to the mansion. And the haunted aspect is incredible. It looks sensational. And the ride was brilliant. It gave me very high expectations. Personally, I honestly think the haunted mansion exceeded those high expectations. <laughs>